Hi, this is Salman Alana and Manos Burlakis presenting case 222 for the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case in which stent loss occurred in the donor vessel. The patient was a gentleman with diabetes, hypertension, dyslipidemia, and CKD. He presented with chest pain and heart failure, mild reduction in ejection fraction, and he was found to have um, multivessel coronary disease with lesions in the LAD diagonal and the CTO of the right posterior lateral. He declined surgery and he was sent for multivessel percutaneous coronary intervention. This is his angiogram. He does have a severe lesion in the first diagonal branch. There is also a significant lesion in the LAD and a CTO of the right posterior lateral. This is a fairly sizable right posterior lateral vessel. So how to approach these lesions? The consensus was to start with the non-CTO lesions, to canalize the LAD and the diagonal, in part because of the possibility of going retrograde through the septals if undergrade failed. When it comes to the CTO, the CTO has a clear proximal cap, relatively short length. There is some diffuse disease on the distal vessel, and uh, there may be some connections from the septals, but not very clear. The, the collaterals seem to be mainly epicardial. So we decided to first treat uh, the donor vessel. We predilated the LAD in the diagonal and stented the diagonal. And then try to deliver a 2.75 by 22 millimeter drug eluting stent in the LAD, but had difficulty delivering the stent. And when we look at it a little more carefully, we see that the proximal part of the stand is actually inflated. So when we actually look at the end of later, it was out to two atmospheres. So during the connection of the balloon with the end of later, there was inadvertent inflation of the stand balloon that caused this uh, mild expansion of the proximal edge of the stand. So what to do next? We cannot deliver it anymore. Um, we tried to pull things back into the guide, but unfortunately, the proximal edge of the stand was deformed, and we were unable to get it back into the guide catheter. And as we kept on pulling, the balloon of the stand came back, but the stand remained into the left main. So we have a stand sticking out from the left main into the lady. What to do next? There is fortunately good flow, so we did not compromise the flow into the vessel. And this is the algorithm for stand loss. There are different poss possibilities depending on the location of the stand. Here, in our case, the stand was in the coronary artery. And the key question whenever we have a lost stand is whether we need to retrieve it or whether you can leave it in place and either deploy it or crush it. In, key, in this case, because the stand was going from the main into the LAD, it was a critical location, so we decided to ideally pull it out, try to remove it instead of deploying or crushing it. And when we try to remove a stand that is lost, the most common technique is the small balloon technique, advance the balloon distally, inflate it, pull it back, bring the stand back along with it, if it doesn't work, pull a snare or use two guide wires. And if everything else fails, then surgery might be required. So we tried with a 2.0 millimeter balloon, but we could not get it to go through the stent. We tried a smaller balloon, a 1.5 millimeter balloon, and this was inflated distally. But then, because of the proximal stent deformation, we just could not make the balloon bring the stent back into the guide catheter. And we can see the stand is actually fairly deformed, both proximally and distally. So we tried a slightly bigger balloon, a 2.0 millimeter balloon, brought the stand back into the main. Again, it's over the wire, but still it cannot enter into the guide catheter. So the small balloon technique failed, and the next step is to use a snare. This is a small, this is a 2 by 4 millimeter end snare that was advanced over the wire in the LED. We can see that it has reached all the way to the lost stent. And then we were able to advance it as far possible distally as we could. And then we advanced the sheath that comes over that little end snare. And by pushing the sheath against the snare and pulling the snare back, we captured the stand. We can see here the stand coming back along with the LED guide wire. 
So this is an example in which uh, advancing a snare, this was a small 2.4 millimeter and snare, was successful in getting to the lost stand and then removing the stand. Whenever we do that, it is expected we're going to lose wire position, but in this case, we did not have any dissection. We did have a diagonal wire in place, so we did not mind losing the position of the LED wire, but we really wanted to get the stand out of the vessel and sure we could. And this is how it looked like when it came out of the body. So we can see that uh, the snare cutter is here. This is the lost stand and there it comes out. We can see it's pretty entangled and uh, fairly deformed. The next time we did a better preparation of the stand and it was very easy to deliver a similar stand to the LED, successfully deployed it and got a nice result. At this point, we debated about uh, proceeding with a CTO. However, we did have dual access. The patient was doing fine. We did not have high radiation and contrast dose, and we decided to go ahead. We placed uh, a Corsair and used multiple guide wires in an attempt to cross the proximal cap, but we were unsuccessful. We tried to inject contrast, the Carlino technique, but again, it was a blunt cap who could not make any penetration inside the area of the occlusion. We tried some wires to get into the extra plug space, but could not do that. So we ended up doing the base technique or balloon assisted subintimal entry. Got a small balloon, six millimeter balloon into the posterior lateral. Then we have a microcatheter next to it. And we use the Gladius Mongo wire. And this time we were able to penetrate into the extra plug space and advance it the extra plug. We see that the wire is dancing along with the vessel distally. So here's again a knuckle placed uh, into the vessel. Um, we see that the LED and the diagonal are looking fine. We do have uh, the knuckle wire going a little, maybe too far into the right posterior lateral. We delivered a stingray balloon into the right posterior lateral close to the distal cap. We have a nice uh, position of the balloon, a nice view showing the balloon being very compact. And then by using the double blind stick and strap, this is uh, a Gaia Next 20 guide wire. And then we switched for a Pilot 200. And by doing that, uh, we were able to advance uh, the guide wire into the distal true lumen. So in uh, cases like this where the vessel is relatively small, doing the double blind stick and strap can be useful, uh, creating a puncture, then advancing a polymer wire that seems to go along the course of the vessel. We confirmed with contralateral injection that we were actually inside the distal true lumen into a small branch. We redirect the wire during the time of the injection. And then balloon angioplasty. We did intravascular ultrasound that did show some calcification, but uh, um, the vessel actually wasn't too bad. And then uh, we uh, placed uh, a 25 by 33 millimeter drag eluting stand. It was post dilated. And we placed also a stand more proximal in the RCA and got a nice final result with Timothy flow into the right posterior lateral. And this was the IVUS showing good stand expansion, good stand strata position in the posterior lateral and the proximal right coronary. Several lessons from this case. The first one is about the simple things. Connecting the balloon, the stand balloon with the endoflator if one does not pay attention, one might keep on inflating the balloon while connecting, and as a result, inflate the stand. And then the stand cannot be delivered. It can be lost, as it happened in our case. And then we have to use our techniques to get that lost stand out of the coronary artery. In many cases, we don't have to retrieve the lost stand. We can just deploy it in place. But in our particular case, since the stand was mainly in the left main, we decided it was better to remove it. The small balloon technique, which is advancing a small balloon through the lost stand, inflate distally and pull back, did not work because the stand was deformed. However, using a small snare, a 2 by 4 millimeter snare, we were able to snare the stand and uh, remove it from the body. And then we were able to recanalize the CTO using balloon-assisted subintimal entry, followed by stingray reentry. Thank you.